Public primary and secondary schools in Nigeria are set to access digital education courtesy of the collaboration between the Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, and the Korea International Cooperation Agency, COICA. The Korean ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Kim Yong che disclosed this in his address of welcome at a ceremony for the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, between UBEC and COICA. The MOU is for the improvement of multimedia learning and teaching environment, as well as capacity building of personnel in Nigerian public primary and junior secondary schools. The five-year project from 2021 to 2025 will be fully funded by the Korean government through grant. The project, which will cost $10 million, will cover the provision of multimedia equipment, training of teachers and education officials. Uh, really, uh, meaning today, uh, for my embassy, uh, and for Korean government and Nigerian government in that uh, we, we share some experience in the area of education. Uh, I came here January this year and then uh, uh, Nigeria Korea Model School uh, is uh, uh, one of the first organizations I uh, have uh, visited. I, uh, I was impressed the quality uh, of the facilities, uh, the quality of uh, teachers at the same time uh, the exciting uh, faces of the uh, children there. And then uh, uh, today uh, we have a exciting ceremony to extend that kind of uh, model school uh, in, uh, in six states and other uh, so uh, seven uh, places uh, with a budget of more than 10 million US dollars. Uh, it is a meaningful project in that uh, uh, I, I have to say uh, Korea is uh, uh, one of the Example of country uh, in terms of education. Uh, how Korea uh, uh, has made a kind of development, I have to say, is thanks to our education. Uh, Korean people are dedicated to education, and we uh, educated young people very well. So that's how we got the international competitiveness. I want to share the kind of experiences in Nigeria, and the Nigeria as a number of country in Africa can be the development of the whole African continent. Nigeria's Minister of Education, Mala Madamu Adamo, represented at the event by the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Mr. Sonny Echano, expressed profound gratitude to the Korean government for the intervention. I recall with pride the intervention by Koika in the development of a new government master plan for Nigeria. We have Koika committed more than $700 million um, to assist the country to transit from into a digital mode to uh, a more efficient mode of conducting government business and leveraging of technology. I recall that that project also had a training component and they also created an entire training institution at our PSIM uh, here in Abuja. And several thousands of Nigerians have been trained in the government. Many civil servants have also gone to Korea to get trained in um, the government. And this is a logical progression from that, uh, from the initial intervention establishing the modern schools, smart school here in Nigeria, to this intervention that is covering six different. Uh, model schools or smart schools, as we call them, and the Korean government in Koika is undertaking to provide us with facilities. Again, it's part of our underlying transformation plan for our school system. Uh, we want to not only really expand access, but also improve the quality of teaching and learning in our schools. And the key way of doing it is improving learning and teaching material. So we're going to be, as you saw in the video, transforming our classroom experience for students from, from blackboards to digital boards, from having slates and exercise books to devices, laptops, desktops, and other devices. And from this, by leveraging of technology, we'll be able to see how students can access knowledge and curricula uh, in new ways. The Executive Secretary of UBEC, Dr. Hamid Boboyi commended Koika for its assistance to Nigeria, saying the intervention had become a symbol of cooperation between both countries. And I think it was 
a great achievement for the two countries to be having this school in Abuja itself, the federal capital. And for the school to discharge the key responsibilities, uh, showcasing its use of technology, uh, qualitative delivery of education, and a kind of environment that is also motivating and, and stimulating to the children. When we went, I remember uh, I was there, I think, representing the minister also. I'm not sure, isn't it, you know, but, you know, during the opening ceremony. And we made a pledge that we'll try to see how much we can learn from the Korean Model School and replicate it in other parts of the country. And I think if that commitment, starting with the initiative that the Korean government has put, that it made us to start thinking about those model schools. We feel that our children, particularly those who are attending the public school sector, must also be given an age to compete with their peers, not only in Nigeria, but in other parts of the world. So the conception is really based on the initial concept of the Korean model school. How do we replicate it? But also how do we look at other facets that we can add to ensure that uh, we can have uh, a functional system, as the permanent secretary has, has said, that could deliver qualitative basic education in Nigeria. And, and the Korean experience is, 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 is a great lesson to Nigeria. In his remarks, the country director of Koika, Mr. Wu Chan Chang, said the project served as a second phase for the multimedia education project in the country. Uh, today, uh, we, we agree. Korean government, Nigerian government, we agreed. Second phase, smart school project. Uh, doctor uh, is in charge of Nigerian uh, part, and our vice president in charge of Korean part. So uh, based on our collaboration, Nigeria-Korean model school project. Actually, that project is from 2013-2019. So uh, that is as a model uh, to way forward and envisioning Nigerians ICT education. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that six states to benefit from the intervention are Lagos, Anambra, Kano, Nasarawa, Bauchi and Edo.